I'm Leslie Ann Scorgi, personal finance expert, and today I'm here with Heather Hartfield from Knowledge First Financial. Heather, why should I be looking at saving for my child's education in an RESP? Well, RESPs are a pretty amazing savings vehicle, and over $7,200 of grant is nothing to sneeze at, so it's a really great advantage. Among other advantages, definitely a good way to save. It's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. My neighbor is using a tax-free savings account to save for her child's education. What do you think could about that tool? Well, TFSAs are great because they are tax sheltered just like an RESP, but unlike an RESP, they don't collect a minimum of 20% on every dollar do deposited in government grants. So wow. she's leaving a lot of money on the table, up to 7,200. So I would say she's missing out. Makes you want to know, are a lot of parents missing out? Are they taking advantage of these grants? Unfortunately, a lot of parents are. We just completed a survey through Ipsos Read and Knowledge First Financial, and it says that two-thirds of parents of high schoolers wish they would have either started earlier or saved more. They didn't end up maximizing the benefits available in an RESP. That's too bad, because we both love mm -hmm. free money, right? Absolutely. So thanks so much, Heather. That was really great information. On lesliescorgi.com and Knowledge First Financial, we have a lot of information this month that can be very useful to help you boost your child's RESP through available and free government grants.